In 2012, the first Warrior Scholar program ran with nine students. I read about that and felt kind of compelled to email the founders. And so that led to my giving an hour science lecture at the end of the one week humanities course for three years in a row. After three years of doing this, I really fell in love with the students and wanted to get more engaged. And so decided to just jump in with a team of graduate students. We designed a one week STEM curriculum and we ran a pilot with six students in 2015. In 2016, we ran it on four campuses, and this year we're running it on seven campuses. What drew me to the project was sort of a recognition of a problem that I see as a female in the sciences, so this thing called imposter syndrome. So imposter syndrome is feeling that you don't belong, that you're not as good as everyone else in the room. And I saw that as probably being something that um, the student veterans were also feeling, like that they may not belong. We're focused on enlisted veterans, who are generally speaking your technicians. They're the ones that have been working with state-of-the-art aviation systems, with missile systems, with radar systems. And so they're bringing those skills and 74% they say, I'm very interested in pursuing a STEM degree. Interestingly, the graduates who are actually gaining a STEM degree, it's only 20% of all veterans across the board. So what causes a young man or a young woman who aspires to major in one of the STEM fields, which the country needs desperately, to drop from 74% want to do it to only 20% are actually completing it and getting it accomplished. My biggest challenge when I first started school was just getting back into the classroom because I graduated over 10 years ago. It's been a while since I've been in college or any sort of education. The mathematical portion of science definitely very much intimidate me. I had tried college back in 07 at uh, the University of Delaware. Uh, it didn't go so well. Uh, my last semester there, I actually um, I got a 0 0.7 GPA, um, so I realized I was not ready for college. Science, math, everything with numbers always intrigued me. I just didn't understand how good I could be. And after we started the STEM week, it made me want to know more, pursue more, understand more, and ask questions and chase those answers. I've been out of high school for 11 years. I haven't had any sort of physics or chemistry in a very long time. This is a wonderful way to jumpstart me into the class so that I'm not shocked on the first day. Uh, my reasoning to attend WSP is to take the same confidence that the military instilled in me as a person, but change that confidence into academic perspective. First thing that's happened is in that equation, it says something quite dramatic. It says the geometry, that's the geometry of space and time, how you measure time, how you measure space, is somehow related to the distribution of matter and energy. Monday through Thursday, we cover roughly the equivalent of the first month and a half to two months of an introductory physics course. We start with one-dimensional motion, move on to two-dimensional motion, projectile motion, Newton's laws, and we end with work and energy. We have research projects. We break our students up into smaller groups, sort of three to five students, and do research projects of various different flavors where we don't necessarily know where a project is gonna go off. And that's the real world. That's the real research world, or that's you know the real medicine world. Warrior Scholar Project taught me the confidence to excel and overcoming imposter syndrome. I felt a change within myself. I feel like there's this new passion and like, um, excitement for education, and I'm really glad that I was able to do this. From my background in naval nuclear power, I was kind of already aware of the STEM world, but not to the extent that we went into. I would say that I definitely lacked the confidence before this course, but now I see that if I wanted to, I could. I could apply and possibly get into MIT. Uh, so far it's been great. It's just two days in right now, but the STEM program is very easy to understand, I think, only as a credit to the people that are doing the instructing. I find that kind of remarkable to be in the same room as these people that are in the top of their field and really just trying to absorb all of the information. 
that they can possibly give us and all of the knowledge they can impart to make us successful because that's really all they really want from us. You know, the students in the Warrior Scholar Program are, they're driven. You know, they're, they need this and they want this um, and that, that comes across uh, big time. They're just, you know, eager to learn. I love math, I love science. You have to know STEM to live in this world and really to communicate with other people. We are always talking about diversity in science and why is diversity important in science? It's because we have very difficult problems to solve from medical to engineering, energy issues, climate change, all of these very big weighty issues. And we need people coming at these problems from every different direction in order to try and solve them. People who think differently or think slightly out of the box. And so our veterans bring a different perspective to these problems. Um, and maybe one of our veterans will be the person who's able to solve some major issue because they're looking at it from just a different direction. I want these students in my classroom. I want these students in my lab. I am planning to study energy engineering. Aerospace engineering. Astronomy. Pathology. Evolutionary biology. Psychology. Electrical engineering. Computer network security and cyber terrorism. Financial engineering. Computer science and biomechanical engineering. Information technology. My goal is to become a physician. Doctor. Surgeon. Neurosurgeon. I uh, actually just graduated last week from Columbia uh, with honors. Uh, and I've been accepted in the Rutgers New Jersey Medical School, so I'm, uh, I'm on my way. Thank you.